Welcome to the final day of the Church Checkup Challenge. Congratulations. You did it. You made it here to the very end. And today we're talking about action. Today it's about making a commitment. It's doing something. It's one thing to look at that dashboard we talked about on the first day and see the indicator lights. And it's another thing to actually do something about it, to go to the mechanic, to get it fixed. Um, or perhaps you are skilled enough to do this yourself. Actually, AJ, um, we, you and I had a conversation uh, a week or two ago. I needed new brakes. Mm-hmm. And you commented how you've never paid for brakes in your life. <laughs> I've paid uh, for the parts. I've never paid for labor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Me, I need a little help. I, I'm, I am uh, challenged. Uh, speaking of challenges, I'm challenged when it comes to uh, mechanically challenged. So uh, I'm always having, I'm, I'm getting some help. But, you know, if you're looking at your indicator lights and you're seeing there's a lot of things that are on, maybe you feel like we've got everything that we need to be able to just take care of it ourselves. Or maybe you're thinking, man, I, I'm actually going to need a little bit of help. So today we want to talk about how do you move forward from here? So in today's download, you were given uh, basically a, big, a blank page to, to go back. If you remember on each day's tool, there was a take action section. And in that take action section, you were invited to write maybe one or two or a handful of things down some, of, of some things that you need to work on and do. And so what we're trying to do in today's tool is to help you to organize that, prioritize that. You may not be able to do everything that you recognize that you need to take action on, but um, the, here are six things that we can do, that we can prioritize, that we can take action on. So we want you to take the time to reflect on that. Also, uh, you may take a look at that and go, man, we are way out of our depth and we really need some help. So we want to invite you to schedule a free discovery call. If that's you, if you're like, we can't handle this ourselves, we need some help. Or maybe you just want to explore what it would look like to have a partner um, in helping you with this. Uh, There is a link in the email that was sent to you today to set up a free discovery call. There's no obligation on any of that. We're not a hard sell. We're a nonprofit. We're not trying to make money. We're just, we just want to serve churches. So uh, if you set up a discovery call, you don't have to worry about your being pressured to to do something, you can just explore what it might look like to partner with with us uh, in a strategic envisioning process. Finally, the third option is uh, you might think, man, I think we need a more in depth check of of these different areas. You know, we've we've gone through these audits, and we're not really sure if we're seeing things clearly. Um, it's a little bit like going to that mechanic, and they're saying, hey, we're going to do a 87 point inspection or whatever it is that they they say they do when when they do an oil change. Um, and, uh, you know, you want to do the church ministry analysis. We gave one of those away for free uh, earlier in the challenge, but uh, every person who has made it to day seven here in this challenge um, is given 20% off of a typical church checkup costs or, or the uh, church ministry analysis costs. So uh, typically it's $99 for you, it's going to be $79. We're not making money on that. The, the The reason why it costs anything is so that you'll actually follow through and schedule the meetings and do the things that needs to happen. So um, I just thrown a lot out there, AJ, but those are our three calls to action. One, commit to making some changes on your own using the tool that we've given you to organize and prioritize. Two, schedule a free uh, a discovery call with us if you feel like you might need a partner. Or three, Maybe you feel like you need a little bit more diagnosis and you're not really sure what the next step is and what you ought to do. Do the church ministry analysis process with us at a discounted rate. Yeah, I mean, not much to add other than I'm excited that you made it to day seven. Um, If you haven't done all those assessments, well, that's okay. You can just go back into those emails, click them, download them and go through it. You don't have to have been on the same pace um, with us through each of these days. So, But don't let it go. If you've missed some, Go back and pick them up. Uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, we always encourage that discovery call. So just uh, connect with one of us and uh, we can answer your questions, talk about what the future could look like for your church and give you that encouragement. We we always love to be an encouragement wherever we can, whenever a pastor calls, feeling a little bit overwhelmed. 
Um, so by all means do that. Um, and you know, again, we did this strategically the very beginning of January, the, the whole year is in front of you still. Um, mm. all, you know, this is, this is not the time of the year to give up. This is the time of year to make a plan and press forward. And so we hope that you'll do that because there's so much more that God envisions for your church and, um, and you'll be able to rally the people together to make a change and to make a difference. So we hope you'll do that. Um, Scott, congratulations to you and me for wearing the same clothes every day for seven days. Um, we, we've looked <laughs> Wait, you mean we didn't day. film this all on one day? <laughs> um, but, so we have changed shirts before each before each video <laughs> with a number on them. One, two, three. Um, <laughs> but, but we're glad that you've been with us. Um, we love serving churches and we love connecting with pastors and leaders. So, you know, reach out to us anytime and ask whatever questions you'd like to do. Um, and we hope that, uh, we're going to make some new friends with some of you that participated in this. A lot of people decided to engage in the challenge. So that's encouraging to us also, uh, because we want to see all of your churches thrive. We want to see the church of Jesus Christ worldwide working at capacity and, um, and affecting the future in a major positive way. Uh, that's what gets us up every day to continue to do in the work. Thanks for being with us on the challenge. We can't wait to hear from you about the positive things you'll be doing in your church in 2023. God bless you.